headshot dead. Those are the only words that come to mind when Leon Edwards makes the walk. You can argue that his head kick knockout of Kamar Usman at UFC 278 is the biggest singular win in UFC history. And now this man is the hunted remarkably at 170 pounds. And J8, I asked you this question. It wasn't luck because we've seen him do this before, right? We have seen him knock people out with this exact combination. This was something that he does. Leon Edwards is a master strategist. I've trained with him before. He works exceedingly hard. He does a great job of being very committed inside the gym, and he has just gotten better. It's been a long time since anyone's beaten Leon Edwards, and that's why he's the champion of the world. And to be able to win a fight like that against that type of opposition when maybe you don't have your best stuff, scary to think about just how good Leon Edwards can be here tonight and moving forward. Leon Edwards, always ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Leon Rocky Edwards, the perennial welterweight contender, still criminally underappreciated for my money. I just feel like people don't give him the credit he deserves for just the overall mixed martial arts game and acumen. And when we talked to him about his striking this week, he said, hey, come on, man, I can grapple too. We'll see how he chooses to proceed tonight. Beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, DC. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't <laughs> take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. He's going after the head. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Muhammad. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He gets out. 
That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Edwards' pass attempt denied. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. And submission defense wins this transition. Submission defense by this man. It looked like he was done. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. And look at him post on the opposite side to give himself the right distance to land these beautiful knees. And that underhook helping him control that side of his opponent. Nicely done. Huh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's Round two underway. Oh, man. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, this wrestler continues to want to stand and exchange. He's playing with fire. He's playing with fire, John, and his coaches are yelling at him to change, get back to the wrestling, get back to who you are, because right now the stand-up is not working, and it does not seem like anything is going to change. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Good straight hand there by Edwards. Keeping him honest with the jab. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Edwards is bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Lands a big right hand there. Oh, he gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Finds his range with the jab. Left hand finds the target. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Big right hand there. Back to the feet now. Now we the clean. Oh, Ten oh. minutes in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and end it. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your hunt. 
You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Edwards going for the leg kick. He misses. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Elbow there blocked by Edwards. Back and forth we go. And now some separation. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice short elbows here in the clinch. Those were landed by Edwards. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Three minutes to go. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Now some separation. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. What a thunderous head kick. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Oh, a little single ball tie there. Elbow attempt now, that one blocked by Edwards. This might be the biggest shot. Back to the first seat, though. These two guys have been trading huge shots. Now the upper cuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Edwards is cut on his nose. Manageable for a while. Maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood. Oh, another one. What a fight. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see it. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Landed that one. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Edwards is really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand. Power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's the outside line. His mama's out for Thanksgiving. The dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. Fight stuff. Man, his head's chin been tested early. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Submission here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. 
You gotta be kidding me. How did you get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Dodging bullets, Jay. Side control now. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making... He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Camaro locked in. Tonight, as he pounds him out for the TKO, I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. <laughs> All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 54 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO, the law, remember the name, Muhammad! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down on the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.